Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called polynomials. The given question is check whether the polynomial qt is equal to 4t to the power 3 plus 4t to the power 2 minus t minus 1 is a multiple of 2t plus 1. So guys let us see how we can check about this given question. Here the question is asking us to check whether the polynomial qt the polynomial qt which is the polynomial qt which is like 4t to the power 3 4t to the power 3 plus 4t to the power 2 minus t minus 1 is a multiple of is a multiple of multiple of 2t plus 1 2t plus 1 question is asking us to check whether the polynomial 4t to the power 3 plus 4t to the power 2 minus t minus 1 is the multiple of 2t, 2t plus 1 or not. Guys, this is again one of the most important questions. Now, let us let us take one example here. For example, if someone asks us whether 8 is a multiple of 2 or not, if someone asks us, let us take one example. If someone asks us whether 8 is a multiple of multiple of 2, whether someone asks whether 8 is a multiple of 2, what we need to do? We need to, how to find out? We need to divide. We need to divide this 8 by 2 and if we get the remainder as 0, if we need to divide this 8 by 2 and if we get the remainder as 0, if we get the remainder as 0, that means, that means if we are dividing 8 by 2 and if we get the remainder as 0, 2 for the 8 and the remainder is 0, when we get the remainder as 0, then we can easily say that this is a multiple of the given number. The given number like 8 is a multiple of 2 if we are getting the remainder as 0. So this is how we find out. When we get the, when we divide a number by another number when the remainder is 0, then we can say that the given number is a multiple of the given number. Hope this example is very clear. With the help of this example, we are going to solve this one. So what we did? whether if someone asks whether 8 is a multiple of 2 or not. How to find out? If we divide 8 by 2 and if we get the remainder as 0, then only we can tell that this is a multiple of 2. Now, keeping this keeping this example in mind, let us do this thing. Because question is asking us to find out whether QT, QT is a multiple of 2T plus 1 or not. Now, what we need to do? That means we are going to divide. We are going to divide this QT divided by 2t plus 1 divided by 2t plus 1 and if we get the remainder is as 0 if we get the remainder as 0 if we get remainder as 0 remainder is 0 then 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 we can say that the polynomial then qt is a multiple of then qt is a multiple of multiple of 2t plus 1 2 2t plus 1 let us check this one so we are going to divide qt by 2t plus 1 now guys let us uh, let us uh, remember let us recall our remainder theorem if you remember our reminder, if you recall our reminder theorem, the reminder theorem says that if we divide a polynomial with another polynomial, another linear polynomial, then the remainder, then the zero of the polynomial, then the remainder is P A. If we divide a polynomial by another polynomial, then the remainder is P A depending upon the situation. So here, this is a linear polynomial. If you look here, 2t plus 1. We need to find out the zero of this polynomial. The remainder theorem says that if we divide a polynomial p x when it's divided by a polynomial x minus a, then the remainder is p a. p a is equal to remainder. Then the remainder is p a. This a is this p a we are considering as the remainder. So this is what we are going to do here. We are going to apply the remainder theorem observation number 2 as per the observation number 2 if you look into my remainder theorem videos as per the observation number 2 we are going to calculate the uh, remainder quickly and easily now how to calculate let's let's see 
now if we got a we got a linear polynomial the zero of this linear polynomial will be 2t plus 1 will be zero or i can write 2t is equal to minus 1 or t is equal to minus 1 by 2 so when t is equal to minus 1 by 2 this is going to be our zero of the polynomial when t is equal to minus 1 by 2 is going to be the zero of the polynomial now we are going to replace the value of t with minus 1 by 2 then only we can get the remainder as pa okay so if you look here the question gave us qt is equal to qt is equal to x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 minus 2x minus if you look here if you look here question gave us not not x if you look here question gave us 4t 4t to the power 3 plus 4t to the power 2 minus t minus 1. Now putting the value of t as minus 1 by 2 that we got here from this step. Now taking qt as minus 1 upon 2. Taking the qt as minus 1 upon 2. Just replacing the value of t with minus 1 by 2. So I can write here minus 1 by 2 to the power 3 plus 4 into plus 4 into minus 1 by 2 to the power 2 minus minus 1 by 2 minus 1 what i did here i just replaced the value of t with minus 1 by 2 from where i got the value of t as minus 1 by 2 when i found out the zero of the divisor i got the value of t as minus 1 upon 2 hope guys this is very clear till here or i can write or i can write q q minus 1 by 2 q minus 1 by 2 is equal to 4 into minus 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 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 we will get a minus so 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 8 plus 4 into minus into minus is minus into minus is plus so this one will be 1 4 into 1 by 4 minus minus 1 by 2 minus 1 or i can write q or i can write what i can write now or i can write qt or q minus 1 by 2 or q minus 1 by 2 is equal to 4 2 za 8 that means we got minus 1 upon 2 this 4 this 4 cancels out that means we got 1 minus this minus this minus when it got, gets multiplied we will get plus plus 1 by 2 minus 1 or or q or q minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 it cancels out 0 plus 1 minus 1 cancels out is 0 so what we are getting we are getting the q q minus 1 by 2 is equal to 0 this 0 is nothing but this 0 is our reminder as per this reminder theorem. As per the reminder theorem, this reminder is 0. How? If, as I told you earlier, when Px is divided by x minus a, the remainder is, the remainder is Pa. Okay? This is how we did. How we got Pa? Because we got x minus a is equal to 0 or x is equal to a. Putting the value of x or replacing the value of x with a, whatever we get, that is our remainder. So this p a is equal to equivalent to our remainder. So keeping that thing in mind, we got here to looking at this remainder theorem only, we got this value of q minus 1 by 2 is equal to 0. As earlier I told, as earlier I told, when we, if we get the remainder as 0, then we can easily tell that the given polynomial is a multiple of the given linear polynomial. So we can write as we can write hence, hence as the remainder is 0, hence as we got, as we calculated the remainder, something like this you need to write in your own words. As we calculated the remainder to be 0, as we calculated the remainder to be 0, to be 0 hence hence as we calculated the remainder to be 0 thus the given polynomial thus 
the given thus the given polynomial given polynomial polynomial qt qt is equal to 4t to the power 3 minus 4t to the power 3 plus 4t to the power 2 4t to the power 2 minus t minus 1 is a multiple of is a multiple of 2t plus 1 2t plus 1 what we wrote hence as we calculated the remainder to be 0 thus the given polynomial qt is equal to 4t to the 3 plus 4t to the 2 minus t minus 1 is a multiple of 2t plus 1 hope guys you understood this this is very simple and very straightforward just we need to utilize the remainder theorem and we need to utilize uh, the concepts and then we can easily find out whether a given number is a multiple of the other given number or not hope guys you understood this but still if you have any questions or doubts please reach out to me in the comment section of this video definitely i will get back to you once i see your comments guys if you really like my videos please subscribe and let your friends know if you really like my videos i would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know this will motivate me to create similar videos in the future thank you bye